Cowboy and favorite song, sacred songs on record. And this portion brought to you by Mother's Best as well, Gene Foster, in just a few moments. Thanks for listening, neighbors. But uh, 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 now don't you dare go away. Stay right there. Through WVOK, the voice of rumor, a Dixie in Birmingham. Gee whiz, folks. Did you ever see so many brands of well-known quality merchandise as you can find right now at Goldstein and Coins Men's Department? Say, fellas, you just can't beat those Allen Wing shirts for good-looking, long-wearing quality dress shirts. And now that fall's in the air and wintertime, practically, it's time to dress up that outfit with a new fall felt hat. So make your selection from those up-to-the-minute steps and Adam hats at Goldstein and Corn, 404 19th Street, Ensley. Ensley's leading department store. That's it. Right now, neighbors, listen. Uh, we're not going to use much theme song this morning, folks. we got too much cooking around the studio, too. Thank the business neighbors, there's not near as much cooking around the studio as I bet was cooking in Gene Foster's kitchen all night last night. Lowell, have you ever seen the likes of it so good, buddy? what is going on around here? Oh, man, I'm just about to find out right now. So, supposing, though, we switch on around in the other studio, and then all them goodies are sitting all over the table in there, and say good morning to you, Gene Foster. (laughs) Good morning to you, Joe, and good morning to you homemakers up and down the party line. Yes, we are having our Halloween party a little bit early, but we are having it for the people out here at the station because it will not be possible to get out here Monday. But uh, isn't that the way we do at home? Don't you know our Halloween at home starts today and will go through Monday? Now, I don't want to forget the household hint for the morning, and I, Jean Foster, would like to bring you the household hint. You know, you've been sending me household hints, and I've been passing them on up and down the party line. So this morning, let me bring you the household hint for today. It really isn't a household hint, but it's a hint to all mothers with children. Remember that today through Monday, our dear little ones will be having real Halloween fun. Let's plan the greater part of that fun to be in our very own homes. There we can practice our safety rules and be sure our dear ones are safe. You know, homemakers, a little advanced planning will do the trick. Maybe some of our suggestions will help you today. What do you think, Joe? Oh, Gene, I don't know about suggestions today. The only suggestion I've got in, let's dive in. What do you say, huh? <laughs> oh, All right, boy. Joe. Let me tell the homemakers mm-hmm. about our table that's set up here. First, we have a little side table, and on that we have Witch's Brew. Witch's Brew? Witch's Brew. <laughs> What's it brewed out of? Royal well, Cup uh, Coffee? Witch's uh, Witch. Well, Joe, now that's a surprise. <laughs> you wait and see. And that's served hot. A hot fruit punch, really, homemaker. Gee, let me get you, a little bit over there. All right, right help yourself, huh? Joe. Now, if the... Um, hey, Lola, will you come in here and get some, too, now? Here, come on If the here. spout on the thermos doesn't work, we have a pitcher in the back because there's some whole cloves in there and some come orange and lemon slices. Oh, my. Hey, what's going on? Oh, man, we've got it around here. And say, Gene, I've even I've even invited the carpenters who are building our 50,000 watts in there, too. I told them to stop hammering from now until 10.15. We want them to come in here and help us celebrate a little. Oh, that's fine, Joe. Goblins in the steeple over there. Yes, sir. Hey, Lord, we have goblins and black cats and owls and everything. We have donuts all decorated up. And homemakers, this is a quickie idea for you. Now, while they're having witches brewing some of this food, let me tell you about it. We have some stuffed eggs, and they just look like regular stuffed eggs with little faces on them made of fermenta and cloves or raisins. Uh, we stuff the eggs with a uh, tuna fish, uh, a combination of tuna fish. You can use anything you want, any kind of salad. I have celery and some relish and mayonnaise and tuna fish and some of the egg yolks. And then I stuffed the uh, eggs and then grated some of the uh, egg yolk over that and then made the little eyes. Now, that can be the main dish. You can have this hot or cold. Well, got the cutest little Halloween over here I've ever seen. <laughs> well, Joe, we've been celebrating Halloween in my house ever since we've been planning this party out here. Are you telling me? I heard it the other morning. I know you did. Now, this, uh, we have a little yeast-raised dough that I'm going to tell you homemakers about Monday because it's for your Monday night dinner. But you put frankfurters in the center of the dough and bake it in there. And that's your meat. Serve that with some baked beans and coleslaw. And boy, is it good eating. Jean's got broadcast brand Vienna sausages in here, too. I brought them to the other day, and look at that. She went and put them inside the Frank Now, here. it wouldn't be Halloween unless the witches had to sweep the skies, and those are the moons, the half moons that they're sweeping from the sky, Miss Benz. Try a half moon. Hey, that is a half moon. Yes, so. Gene, I'm going to take the whole moon. You know, I'd like to take here, the girl. whole moon. And then we have brown bread sandwiches, and they are delicious. Come on up, Mr. Leslie, and help yourself. Come on. Then there are donuts. Oh, I never saw it so much. Food, grand food in my life. Oh, boy. Well, Miss Benz, I'm so glad. And they are the cookies with owls and cats. Mother's cat. best of every bit of this. Every bit of it, Miss Benz. Mother's best enriched flour. And then we have, as my children call them, the snakes over there. Won't you try a snake, Daddy Alexander? 
<laughs> yes, sir. See how you like them. And then, of course, we have the candles and the nuts to go with this. And yes, homemakers, this is all made from Mother's Best Enriched Flour. You know, once you try Mother's Best Enriched Flour, you'll discover it's the only flour you'll ever need or want on your pantry shelf. From each sack of satiny smooth Mother's Best comes dozens of the lightest biscuits, the tenderest pastries, and the finest cakes. Well, come on, Mr. Benz. I'm just, I'm just telling the homemakers on the air that this stuff was made of Mother's Best flour. Come on in and try one. How about one of these deviled eggs? Oh, uh, that brew. Brew. Let have some, oh, let's brew. have some witch's brew. That will be fine. Oh, well, we're going to have to get the pitcher. Let's call Karen and get the pitcher. The whole clothes or either the lemon or orange slices have hey, gone into the this bath. Hey, I've got the engineer, Gene, too. He wants oh, well, hello. Come on, sir. Look at all this here. Come on. Help Halloween yourself. Yes, sir. Yeah. Bring them all in, Joe. Where well, you start? Well, we'll get witch's brew oh, first. And there's a napkin over there. Over Halloween first, napkin. And that's a broom set. Too, how, about, how about this uh, for as a starter? This is the main dish. But now, you think that's a deviled egg. Wait until you taste it. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Homemakers and all of this was made with Mother's Best Enriched Flour. I want to urge you to try a sack of Mother's Best Enriched Flour. You'll find it's the only flour you'll need on your pantry shelf. If it's Mother's Best, it's the best. You are sure right. Yes, sir. (laughs) Now for the kiddies, for, we'll say the teenagers, we like to plan something to keep them at home, don't we? Uh, Maybe it's a square dance. We'll say even after a fast and lively square dance session, a hot fruit punch tastes just right on a cool evening, and I imagine it will be cool on Halloween. Now, this is uh, easy to start early in the day and have ready when those thirsty dancers stop for refreshment. Hot fruit punch is what I'm calling witch's brew this morning. Now, to serve with that are snakes. They're just really little cheese straws, but we call them snakes because um, it's more typically Halloween, don't you know? Now, let me give you that recipe. You know, I wish that we had about 30 minutes this morning because we're having such a good time at the party, I'm going to have a hard time getting in all of these recipes. But quickly now, one pound of snappy cheese grated. Be sure that's snappy. Then one stick of butter or margarine, a dash of cayenne pepper, two cups of mother's best enriched flour, a half teaspoon of salt. Miss Benz, thank you. Pass them, won't you? Pass Mr. Benz one. Mr. Benz, you're standing back like, um, you aren't bashful. Come on in here, Joe. Uh, Betty Hamby, how about you passing the napkins to Mr. Benz so that they can... Well, not try to give it to I can tell you that. Well, Joe, I'm going to tell the ladies about this, uh, punch, this witch's brew with the cheese straws. Do you like that roll, though? that roll, Miss. Yes, sir, and that's with a little, uh... <laughs> That's with a little uh, Vienna sausage or either Frankfurt is rolled up in there. But don't make it. <laughs> Back to the cheese straw recipe. We all had fun. Mr. Benz, come on around and get you something. All of you boys, come on up. Hello there. Didn't speak with you when you came in. Come on, Miss Hawkley. Come on. Come on in and get you something. Come on in here, Doc. Yes, sir, they're coming in. Invite them right on in. And uh, Mom, Mom's out with me this morning helping me with all of this. If these trays get empty, won't you refill? Fill them, please, ma'am. But now back to this cheese straws. It's one pound of snappy cheese. Be sure it's snappy. A stick of butter, some cayenne pepper. Now, if you like them hot, add two or three dashes of cayenne pepper. Then two cups of Mother's Best Enriched Flour and a half teaspoon of salt. Now, Betty, what's on your mind? You're standing there just uh, staring. Can you use oil instead of butter? Yes, I said in the first time, a stick of butter or margarine. So, uh, and I didn't repeat it. Thank you for reminding me of that. Now, these are easy to make. You mix and cream together the uh, oleo, butter, and cheese. Then add the flour, pepper, and salt. Now, this makes a fairly stiff dough because you're going to press this through a cookie press. I use the little old uh, cookie decorator that I got from the dime store and just made these into little snakes. And you bake them at 375 degrees from 10 to 12 minutes. They're good eating, aren't they? They really are. Served with that witch's brew. Yes, sir. Invite them all in, Joe. Phil, how many of those peanuts have you eaten, son? Homemakers, I want you to know Phil really likes the peanuts. He's, um, he likes the moons and the peanuts. Now for this witch's brew that we... Uh, come on, Betty, what is it you want, Are these sir? the ones you gave the recipe for way early, long time ago? No, Betty, those are coming up Monday, but I wanted to bring them out so the staff here at the studio could have some. Well, That's a yeast dough. Roll. Uh-huh. Frank Fredder Rolls. Sure are good. Ooh, well, I'm glad you like them. Now, homemakers, remember, the Alabama flour mills uh, uh, will bring you this program each morning at this time. 
Uh, this program is brought to you through the courtesy of the Alabama Flour Mills. And by the way, the Alabama Flour Mills is sponsoring this Halloween party right here at the station WVOK. And we are so glad to put it on for them. Oh, here they all come. Now the room is filled. Come on, all of you visitors. Yes, sir. Um, come on, Daddy, and uh, help yourself. All of you folks, come on in. Foster, I have never tasted such delicious chocolate donuts in all my life, huh? Yes, and there's Carrie. Um, Carrie the maid. Carrie the maid, yes, sir. And she helped me early this morning set this up. But homemakers, I do want to say this. If my time gets away from me and I don't give you all the recipes, you write in. Drop me a penny postal card and I'll get them out to you. And I'll say this, that Mother's Best Flour, Mother's Best Cornmeal, would like you to try their products. You can make just such nice things that we have made here this morning. And just as good, too. Now, this hot fruit punch, I'm going to give you that because you want to serve it. Two cups of boiling water. Four teaspoons of tea. Uh, I'm going to stop here just a moment to say, Betty Hammond, will you fix Carrie a plate so that she might have something to eat, too? Then two cups of sugar, two cups of orange juice, one cup of lemon juice, one cup of grape juice, two and a half cups of boiling water, orange and lemon slices. Now, let me repeat that. That's two cups of boiling water, four teaspoons of tea. You know, you steep your tea in that two cups of water. Then you'll use two cups of sugar, two cups of orange juice, one cup of lemon juice, one cup of grape juice, two and one half quarts of boiling water, orange and lemon slices. Now I use some whole cloves. I think that improves it. So add a few whole cloves. I didn't count them. I just added it. You can extract the juices early in the day, make your tea and sweeten it with the sugar, and then have it hot, ready to serve. If you, you can serve this hot or cold. Now remember, if you serve it cold, put it in a French bowl and let orange and lemon slices float on the top of the front, uh, pu punch bowl and then take little birthday candles. They're little, um, couldn't talk without my hands, Joe. No, I The little either. orange birthday <laughs> candles. Somebody and course, insert them right in the center of a slice of okay. orange peel or a lemon peel, and they'll float over hey, the top. Jean. Yes, Joe. Smokey said there that a lady just now called up out here at the station here and had something to say. Hey, late, uh, Smokey, what did that lady call up here and say here just, just a few moments ago, huh? She said for Joe Rumor to put on an apron and get in here and help this. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know I haven't got my apron on here. No. Uh, well, something other like How you carry? Fine, how you do? She said that's the fine as it can be. I have never seen anything as fine before. Well, I'm so I glad. Well, listen, we'll do so now. They will try my mother's best. Yes, yes right, they will. Right. Well, I'm glad you like it, Carrie. Yes, I certainly agree with Carrie on this. It's the most wonderful spread, and all of us at WBOK appreciate it and appreciate your courtesy. Well, thank you, Dottie Alexander. And yes, so I was happy to bring this to the personnel at WBOK and to all of our friends and visitors who are with us this morning. I want to urge all of you to try Mother's Best Enriched Flour, Mother's Best Self-Rising Cornmeal, and homemakers, I just uh, feel come back. Phil's going out the door. Um, I'm going to stop to say this. Uh, won't you please send in for your teaspoons of that lovely Roseanne silverware. You know, I didn't get to tell you about the Roseanne silverware this morning, but send two teaspoons and 25 cents to Mother's Best what am I saying, Joe? Am I doing something wrong? No, what did you say? Send, send two oh, teaspoons. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> no. I think it's the witch's brew working on Gene. That's what I think. <laughs> Call your two teaspoons. Oh, okay. Send 25 cents and one label to Mother's Best, Box 51, Birmingham, Alabama. That's 25 cents, a Mother's Best label that can be meal, flour, or feed. Send that with 25 cents to Mother's Best, Box 51, Birmingham, Alabama, and you will receive your lovely... Silver, just the beginning of a nice service for six of eight. Now, I'm going to try to get you some of these recipes in Monday. I'm going to bring you the family night Monday with uh, something that you can all sit down to the table and enjoy, from the kiddies to Grandpa, if we want to. And I see Joe laughing here. Thank Joe, you watch your waistline here on Halloween morning, oh, won't you? Oh, gee, my waistline is on XP expanded Six <laughs> inches already here, too. Oh, go on. Frankie's not going to recognize you when you get home. Frankie's not going to recognize me. <laughs> <laughs> He's not doing bad himself, Betty. Remember, Joe, we are. this isn't Christmas. We aren't going to be Santa Claus. This is just Halloween. <laughs> all right, Jean. <laughs> I do want to say, homemakers, that we've had a lot of fun out here this morning, oh, and sure I have. enjoyed bringing this to the uh, personnel through the courtesy of the Alabama Flower Mill. So until Monday morning, this is Gene Foster saying happy homemaking, and now back to Joe. Thanks a lot to you, Gene. And Faith, did all you folks here in the studio have a real good time this morning, huh? Oh, yeah. 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 
Ah, doggo, doggo. Well, 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 neighbor, that's it this morning. It's been our Halloween party. We didn't get many recipes on the air, but we sure got a lot of samples, neighbor. Compliments <laughs> of Gene Foster. And say, Phil, honey, what you've got over there that he's got his little rat. <laughs> This. Folks, join us again on Monday. I think we'll be here all right. I think we'll still have a sponsor, too. At least I hope. At 10 o'clock, the Alabama Flour Mills and Gene Foster. Until then, so long now. And here's my good buddy, Lowell Pass. Uh, thank you, Joe. And we've had a wonderful Halloween party, haven't we? Yes, sirree. Witches brew and all those little cakes, cookies, donuts, doorknobs, and cakes and everything. <laughs> everything! <laughs> this is WBOK, the voice of Dixie in Birmingham.